Hey guys, Gary Lucas here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about variables. If you want to store information and data in any programming language, you need to store it inside of a variable. In Java, we write variables by declaring a type. In this case, uh, I'll use int, which stands for integer. Uh, and then we need to declare a name for that variable. So I'm going to call it number. And then, uh, and mind you, this could be anything. Like, But in standard convention, it's all lowercase. Um, and then we can assign a value to that, uh, or some kind of data. Um, and in this case, I'm going to assign it the value of 10. Okay, and remember we do equals and then 10, and then we use a semicolon to say that we're done with this line of code. Um, now here are all the variable types inside of Java, this right here. So we have um, a byte, which is, stores an 8-bit uh, information of numbers. We have a short, which stores 16-bit information. Uh, we have an int, which stores 32-bit and long which stores 64. Note that long has to have an L at the end of it uh, or else uh, the program does not know uh, that it is a lot. Now then we have float which stores 32-bit uh, decimal point information or float information and see that we also have to have an F there. And then we have a double which stores 64-bit decimal or float information. Uh, now, double is obviously used more conventionally than float is because of that, and same with the int is used more than long. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't use it, uh, it's just more conventional. Now, boolean uh, stores information of whether something is true or false. And then finally, we have care and string. Now, care stands for character, and uh, they both kind of do the same thing except care. Uh, only stores uh, a single character, whereas string uh, stores a string of characters. Now, string is actually really neat, uh, and also note that uh, this uses single quotations and this uses double quotations. <clears throat> now, string is actually really neat in that it has its own class inside of the Java library, so it has a bunch of functions that you can use like this one right here, which turns any variable into a string. So you would write that by writing string, you declare what you're going to call that string, and then you say it's equal to uh, whatever you're changing it from. So in this case, we're turning this byte, this 127, into a string. So we're going to say uh, byte.toString, and there's one for each of these variables. You could do boolean.toString or float.toString doesn't matter. And then you uh, grab the actual variable that you're changing. So in this case, we're changing byte number into a string. So that would turn 127 into uh, something like this, except it'd be 127. Uh, now, finally, we're going to talk about casting. So in uh, Java, we do casting uh, pretty easily. Um, and what you would do is you would have a variable. Uh, in this case, we have a double. And um, what we want to do is maybe we want to turn that into an int so we can use it for a method that we have or something. Um, and to do that, so we have 10.2 here, all right? And we want to cast that as an int. So what we do is we create another uh, variable. This one is an int, so int is int. And you say it's equal to is double, uh, which is the, uh, the variable we created that is equal to 10.2. Or 10.2, but this obviously isn't working. So what you have to do is you have to uh, put parentheses before, and you put and you cast the variable type that you want it to be. So in this case, int, and you see it works. So now what this would do is, uh, if you were to print out is int, it wouldn't print out 10.2. It would actually uh, just print out 10. It would get rid of the decimal place because ints don't have decimal places. So hopefully uh, that all makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my blog and Twitter for more cool things. And the links are in the description. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.